Hi everybody. Welcome to Ordinary Differential Equations, the mathematical framework and tools for understanding, modeling, and predicting anything that moves. Welcome back. I want to finish Chapter 9 by considering two examples where multiple types of bifurcations occur in the same parameterized family. So here's what I mean by this. First example, x dot is mu minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3. We can easily find the fixed points of this. And we can plot them, and that's this cubic or S-shaped curve, well, not in, in this figure. So you can easily check the linearized stability. There are two saddle node bifurcation points in the same family. By that I mean locally around this point for mu in a neighborhood of where the point is non-hyperbolic, you have a saddle node point. But the curve of equilibria is all, it's, it's a smooth curve, all connected together. The only part of this curve which is stable is the part I've highlighted here. The dashed lines are all unstable. So you can see the dramatic things can happen if you're between the two saddle node points and you pick an initial condition ab above the lower unstable branch, below the upper unstable branch, you will evolve to the stable equilibrium. But if you're outside those branches, you just go off to infinity. And if you're outside this interval, you also just evolve to infinity. Okay, let's consider a different example. This looks pretty much like the same example, except I multiply the whole example by x, and you can see well, I've factored it below. So it has the same, so the, the equilibria point has the same curve as in the previous example, plus x equals zero. So I have the same curve, different, um, so I have the same curve as in the previous one, but now, and I can check the stability, but now I have x equals zero, and if you check it, it's easy to see that mu x is the leading order part. For mu negative, it's stable. For mu positive, it's unstable. And now what you have in this particular example is a pitchfork bifurcation point and a saddle node bifurcation point. And now you can see you have very different things going on in the in the system. You have uh, those branches are all of equilibria are all stable, and these are the only unstable. So the thing, the pattern also that you should recognize is that uh, for a fixed mu, take the vertical line for any fixed mu, and you have alternating stable, unstable alternating in the natural order along the line, stable and unstable points. Okay, and that has to be the case, otherwise um, you would violate uniqueness of solutions in the way that we've already described. Okay, so that's the final two examples I wanted to uh, show you. And you can see, kind of you can play all kinds of games with these polynomials and get multiple equilibria, and, and um, that can be an interesting mathematical exercise, but hopefully you see if your problem, your problem you're working on, physical problem, 
reduces to a one-dimensional vector field depending on parameters. You can consider all of them fixed except one. We did that in the hop bifurcation problem earlier. Then you can analyze the stability as a function of a distinguished parameter that you pick. Okay, that finishes chapter nine. I want to finish off next time by talking about the problems at the end of this chapter. So bye for now.